explode. Uh. If you own a DJI Mini 3 Pro, you would have noticed that DJI has recently added a new color profile to their uh, video recording capabilities. So uh, to see what I'm talking about, if you go to the DJI Fly app and tap on the uh, meatball icons on the top right and go to camera, you see uh, an option here called DC in the light under color. So uh, this is what we're going to be talking about today. So what DC in the light is, is it records the video in 10 bit color, which isn't uh, color graded. So it, it may sound a bit confusing for now, but just bear with me. So this here is an output of a video recorder with DC in the light. Um, so if I just hit the play button, you see that the uh, colors a little bit washed out sort of a uh, pale and not vibrant and this is exactly what's expected so the way to use this is and the benefit of using this is it allows you to color grade the video on your own so uh, think about it as um, uh, I, would, I would say the analog of this would be record uh, taking a picture in raw instead of jpeg for example so you can apply whatever color profile you like so the first thing that you need to do is get um, a um, LUT file. So just to show you a couple of examples. So here we've got um, quite a famous chap by the name of uh, Philip Scrubber. And he makes these um, LUTs for DJI Mini 3 Pro. Now, just a word of caution, Mini 3 Pro doesn't record in log the way uh, Mavic 3 does, for example. So you can't really use LUTs for Mavic 3 with the Mini 3 Pro. Um, so, but first, um, download uh, an LUT and make sure it is for the Mini 3 Pro. Now, I've found a free one that maybe you can try. Um, so if we have a look at this website here, which I'll link to in the description. So someone here has very kindly created a LUT file for um, the Mini 3 Pro. So just a quick word of advice, when you look for LUT files, you want to make sure that you download one that is specifically made for the DJI Mini 3 Pro because every camera system is different and if you use one that's made for a different camera or a different drone, then you're going to get undesirable results with the uh, video uh, color grading. So the first thing you want to do is to download um, the LUT file itself. So uh, here we've got the free one. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on it. So as you can see, this is hosted on Google Drive. So just tap on it, go ahead and download it. Once it's downloaded, just save it to a convenient location. So I'm going to tap on Save to Files. And as you can see in my iCloud Drive, I've already created a folder here called Video LUTs. Um, so I'm not going to save it now because this file is already in there. All right, so assuming you have the LUT file downloaded, the next thing you want to do is to head back to your video editing software. So in this case, we're using Luma Fusion on iOS. And just before I do anything else, I'm going to turn on airplane mode once again, turn off Wi-Fi. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to add the video that you've recorded from the drone. So I'm going to create a new project. And I'm going to browse videos and select the uh, the one that was quite washed out that, that we had a look at earlier. So let's just stick with this video file for now. I'm going to import this to Luma Fusion. Right. So before we do anything else, if we tap on the little um, information icon, we can see that it's HEVC Rec 709 10 bit. So we know this is a decent like uh, profile because if it wasn't, then it would show up as 8-bit rather than 10-bit. All right, so the next thing you want to do is tap on the little edit icon. That will bring us to this other screen, which allows us to apply colors and uh, effects to the video. So we can see all the available uh, filters and stuff like that that comes with Luma Fusion. Now, the one you want is to tap on this um, square with the... Uh, arrow pointing down in the middle of the screen, to the left of the middle of the screen. And this allows us to import presets and LUTs sources. So 
here's where we can go ahead and browse to the uh, LUT file that we've just downloaded. So you go to Files app. Um, it should show up under your recent files as it does here. So I'm just going to select the um, LUT DCNA that uh, you can see to the far left of the screen. And that's the one that we've just downloaded. So if we tap on that, now it's going to apply the uh, LUT file to the video. So now you can see the difference right away. So what was a really washed out video um, earlier has now been sort of color graded with the um, LUT file that we've just applied. So yeah, that's, that's it really. It's as simple as that. Um, yeah, you can experiment with different LUT files. Now this one is um, chargeable. So I'm probably going to try this out at some point. Um, but yeah, there are some free ones on the public domain. Just make sure that you get one that's for the Mini 3 Pro and not any other drone. So we quickly flip back to, so this is the raw DC light feed that came off the drone. And if we go back to Luma Fusion, we can see that it's color graded a lot better. So yeah, to sum things up, the uh, main benefit of using uh, these inner lights is that it allows you to apply um, LED files that uh, that you like. So you're not stuck with the uh, the way um, the uh, the default way that it, uh, the DJI system color grades your videos. So that's it, really. Thanks for watching.